Cool, so it's been a long time. Should have left you. Uh, don't beat to step to. Dumbass. <laughs> it's been a really busy couple of months. So, we've got a few things. We've got some foundations now for a small house that's coming, which is cool. That got done maybe a few, four weeks ago. We've got a little, little wood pile, which will be growing soon. For winter, which we need to cover. We have our water. This is the pipe. Got to run some electrics from it once the um, once the um, house is here. We've also got grey water escape here. So I'm going to put it in here, and then we're going to branch, we're going to branch out um, downwards. Uh, and we've got so. What this will be down here is a giant mulch basin. Giant mulch basin, which I'm going to fill full of wood chips and lots of carbon stuff. Uh, probably a lot of grass as well from up there, but that'll go down really quick, so mainly wood chips. And then we're going to branch out from here because you can see it's easily shouldn't freeze in winter because the the angle come underground and just branch out under here and come out at maybe six inches higher than this the the, bot, the top of this here area here so come out and then that'll drip into the mulch basin from our from our um, house essentially little mini house then this here we're gonna turn into a swale swale sorry into into a, a lump of soil i'm going to plant some trees in that will absolutely adore that water and nitrogen uh, maybe because we've got an apple here that's probably going to benefit as well so a little wild apple tree here with some apples on looking not terribly healthy so that happened then The flies have gone away a bit more, which is nice. They're usually just absolute hell. Da, da, da. So we actually got a lawn mower, electric one, and mowed the lawn. This was last last week we mowed this lot. And uh yeah, this grass is rather aggressive, so I'm gonna probably cut it really far back and then plant out uh, seed out some lawn grass. Um here's our beds now. So this is the first one. So we've got the black mulch on. Eventually it's going to be replaced with chips. Um, and then over the top. So that'll look really pretty. Next year hopefully. We've got some heather. What are these purple ones called, Danny? Huh? What are these purple plants called? Can't tell. Okay, cool. <laughs> we've got a... What the hell is that? We've got one of those now. Should have the label. Abbeus Conco. Abbeus Conco. I can't remember what that's called, but it's pretty cool. Nice colour. We've just planted this juniper. Got another juniper there, so two different types of juniper. Um, Kadagis in Lithuanian. This beautiful beast. Rast has planted some plants here. These are trees that have grown from seed um, that seem to be doing well. I don't know what that is. Rast is full of This is going to start to become um, my um, vegetable area. You can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically so uh, there's a bit of symmetry here, another same thing as that here. Might become tree nurseries, um, or I might cut back further and then put a tree nursery there because it's a little bit higher on the hill. Um, and Ras has put some strawberries in here that look nasty, but they're nasty before we put them in. Here, this is what happens when you don't cover these. They get gobbled by 
some beasts, not sure what's gobbling them. But these are nitrogen fixers, so that's a nitrogen fixer. So what I'm thinking is that as that grows, as it gets bigger and the root roots come out and they start to start to um, start to capture nitrogen from the air and put it into some nodules in the roots. So now we've eaten some handy bacteria. It should hopefully feed a little area here, um, which will help us. And I might plant some smaller nitrogen fixes in here and here and there. So each bed might have a nitrogen fixer. Then this is what happens when you protect them. It's exactly the same tree, but it's doing well. Rass has got some cone flowers in, gorgeous. And we've also planted some. Um, what we plant? Bloody thing. Um, we also planted some echinacea back at home. Same family. Um, hello, what's this? Lilac. Oh, we've got a lilac in. It's one of these funky colour ones um, that go like a dappled colour. Another juniper. Beautiful. Just planted that. Another another one of these. Look at that. That's really come on. I mean, this, this was only, what, maybe a month and a half old? Two months old? It's beautiful. Here we've got Sambuca, Sambucus nigra with a grasshopper on it. Um, so this is a red version of a Sambucus nigra. Looks gorgeous. Not sure how it's going to do. We'll see. We've got a pine that is weeping. So it's been inoculated, I think. Um, Ras has just planted these blue grasses. It just looks like grass and grass at the moment, but doing alright. And these are Berberis. Berberis, so they'll go absolutely red like this. They're a bit spiky, so hopefully that'll keep creatures off. We've got one on each side here, so it's be quite red. And then we've just planted. Now this has been an arse of a task because after about four inches, this soil here is just solid, solid clay, like red clay. It's compacted to fuck. Pardon my French. I've got this beautiful sorbus here known as a rowan and that's been grafted so this is some special rowan um what did they say that about this rowan darling that was special why have they grafted it here comes the expert go on wow that's some serious that's serious she's really wants she's really involved in this so yeah um that's dog and we got pulled out some soil from the forest so we're digging some steps and i figured oh we're digging steps we may as well use that forest soil for the for the trees, because forest trees trees much better for them. Hopefully, there's some uh, there's some um, some mycelium in there as well. That'll help. And then we planted this larch. Now it's very wet and in Lithuania. And we were we were talking to the guys, and they said don't plant them too close to each other. So we're gonna let this grow. Um, and I'm probably going to plant a few dotted around. They're going to be shade trees because they grow quite tall. Um, and eventually, uh, they might make ridge pole, uh, ridge poles. They might, they might make um, if, if they grow. Um, they might make uh, frame framing poles for a round wood house. Larch is extremely good. European larch is extremely good in the round for um, roundwood stuff, roundwood, very strong. And then down here is where we're going to get our water from. Now it's a, it's a seep. Um, we had it, I uh, hand dug it for a bit. Oh, uh, hand dug it for a bit. Um, and then Rasa got a, a guy to come along with a little digger and he's made this nice and compact so very little grows on it now um and then <laughs> flipping fox of shit on, <laughs> on the sand and then this is our water so it just seeps up from the bottom normally you can see the water bubbling up because it's leveled now it's probably not doing so um but if you empty it it just starts bubbling out from from the bottom um so we're going to drop a, a plastic tube in we're going to empty it, drop the plastic tube in, stick a load of stones in the bottom and around the outside, like two trailer park girls, 
and then drill a hole drill a hole in there where I've drop a seal release or a, a uh, pump in there. Um, obviously got to clean it first, put some salt in there, let it go, empty it, put some more salt in it, let it go, empty it, and then we'll get it tested and we'll see if we can drink it. If not, we've got water we can wash with. Um, yeah. So that's what we've been up to. It's been quite busy, to say the least. Tomorrow we're going to come down and cut a load of little, little, a little load of trees back um, in the in the forest, so we can create some mulch next week. So we're going to uh, book a smoking two of us, a um, wood chipper, and we're just going to spend like two days chipping the crap out of wood that we cut down so that'll be fun anyway hope that's been uh, enlightening <laughs> probably not and I bored the crap out here but it's, it's fun for me um, and then yeah we've got the road so now we can get in and out but we, we want to make this road all the way up and I'm going to mulch wood chip past this area so we don't have to mow this area just keep it as low as low maintenance as possible as quickly as possible what's that my love? Look at this bloom. Bloom. Is it meant to be? Is it doing well or is it? Let's have a look at this. Are these hydrangeas, darling. Have you just snipped it? So look, she's look showing off her hydrangeas. So pretty. Hmm, it's white though. Is it meant to go a different colour? It's green, by the way. <laughs> it's green, by the way. So she's got some pink or really pink ones. Some whitey pink ones. Green, whitey pink. Such a designer right here with these. Ridiculous colours. Pelle, what, what's this? What's this one? This looked nice earlier, now it looks horrible. What? Oh, I don't know English. What's, what is it in Lithuanian? Yeah. What is it in Lithuanian? I can't remember. Okay, cool. Right, ciao for now.